Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of MacWarrior 5 Mercenaries, where we are continuing our path to glory and victory, our journey to glory and victory, something like that, right? So let's go ahead and see what battles, battle mechs we have available. There's the Jäger mech, the Jab, the Wolverine, the Warhammer, yeah, there are a lot of mechs available, and I kind of want to play with them today. So, we are going over here to battle, let's go there, it's 20 days. Uh, we're gonna use our mechs that we have at our disposal, we're gonna continue our high reward mission and have a good time playing around our new builds on the battlefield. I wanna check out my AC-10 build on the Warhammer. We have six medium lasers as well as one autocannon 10. Should be quite devastating. So, here we go, we're playing a raid. Getting 14 salvage out of this, we have a tonnage limitation of 230. And for that I'll take... What do we take, actually? Yeah, make Warhammer. As well as Blackjack. Now, you know what? You're gonna take the Blackjack. And you're gonna take the Wolverine 6R. I think this could be a... Ah! No, it's not working. Hmm. Alright, it's no Blackjack then. It's gonna be a Firestarter. Do we take the Firestarter? Let me quickly think about it. No, I'm gonna take the Javelin. So, that's gonna be our lands. The Warhammer, the Jagermech. We got a Wolvie. That's a quite crappy Wolvie. And actually we're gonna ch uh, switch those mechs because it matches better with the skills of the pilots. So the Wolverine with an auto cannon and short range missiles is better off on Captain Yazzie with the high ballistic. And um, the all missile javelin is better off on Captain Darden with kind of high missile skills. It's pretty good. So let's go in and see what we can do. <laughs> oh man, I'm excited. I want to see how this Warhammer performs. It, on theory, like in theory, on paper, it should be good. Attention. All comes down on, um, if, if it is. If we have enough cooling. That's, I think, our bottleneck all the time. But hey, we have an auto cannon 10 and 6 mediums. This should be devastating at medium range. Sensors online. Yup. Yup. Old systems. And they have a spider already. Holy crap. Okay. Let's go. Six mediums, as well as an auto cannon 10. Uh huh. Something is wrong. I have my weapon group set up in a, in a weird way. Ah, give me a sec. Should have done it in the mech lab, obviously. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Got, got it. We're here. I'm ready. Good! So that was a nice hot start. <laughs> but hey, here we go. Um, thing is, we have a lot of stuff to cover here. I think I'll wait for the enemies to come. Yeah. So, six mediums, one auto cannon 10 to rule them all. That's a lot of firepower that we have. Let's see if we can put it to good use. Ah, uh, that was a miss. That was also a miss. There are so many locusts, ah. So many locusts here. Alright, let's try to destroy one of them. One of them is down. Now I'm gonna go for the tanks. Because I can... I can really, really crack them open. Holy crap. Who's firing at me so much? Could you not? Also, heat management. Could you please be a bit better? Ah! Holy hell. Panicked. Alright, we're gonna use the arm lasers then. And the auto cannon exclusively. It's an LRM tank. M might have been the warrior in the sky there. It's another LRM. No, SRM tank. Ooh, boy. This thing is scary. Like an all SRM tank. Uh, please don't get killed, fire starter. Please. Please. The thing is that we are cooled down again, which means we can do something like this. Okay. Pretty pleased with that shot. The carrier is still there. I'll eat it. I had an urban mech! Urby, leave me alone! What are you running? An auto cannon 20? Yeah, of course. Of course, you would be an auto cannon 20 burst fire build. That was a surprise! I gotta say, that was good! Kind of. Stay there! Alright, 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 alright. So, it's time to reconsolidate. Slow down a bit, cool down a bit, 
And have a good time. Love the arm lasers. And we have 34 shots left. That's not many, honestly. So, in order to... Well, uh, in order to finish this, we gotta be a bit careful with our autocannon. Uh, with the ammo of the autocannon, obviously. And I think leaving leaving more targets to my friends to kill. Yeah. Uh, never mind. Those guys need to go instantly. Ah. Shoot him! What are you waiting for? So much at the same time! But it's good. It's good. Cool thing is, we are running a 70 ton heavy mag. We have a good chunk of armor. And there are still enemies. Crap. Wrong angle. That's a kill. Guys, follow me. I don't want you to be down there anymore. Let's get up here on the high ground. Because we have a base to destroy. Seriously. Uh huh. There, there are like tanks and mechs everywhere. Hey, Irby. Another 20? Uh, what? Wow. Wow, they have so many good weapon systems on their urban mechs here. That shouldn't be allowed. Alright. 26 shots left for the autocannon. So I would say in general this is an okay build. It has some it has some real punch to it. But in a prolonged fight where the enemies are surrounding you, I have the feeling it's kind of hard. Okay, let's defend ourselves first. See the damage that we are doing is it's quite good. Um, okay, let's crack open the tank. Good. Good. Wow. Wow. There's so much opposing force. That didn't connect. There we go. And another AC-20 urban mag! Oh my god! No! No! Holy macaroni! Uh, yeah, that didn't connect. You can do it, right guys? I'm gonna do it. Oh, 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 and the heavy mech, and Orion behind us. Where does he come from? I have no idea. I'll try to just go for center mass or head or whatever. Uh huh? Gonna... Wow, okay. Uh, I'm gonna use the autocannons mainly now. Leave my javelin alone. No, 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 no. Okay. I gotta get another angle. Okay, we got him. How's the javelin? Right, yeah, guys, fine. Wolvie is fine. Javelin is not fine at all. But we got the next base down. So, one more target, and then we can get out of here. This mission is quite tense. I love it. So, uh, the Warhammer build that we are running here, this is a nice, like, throwaway build for an AI pilot now. I would say the Auto Cannon 10 as well as the medium lasers, it works. It definitely works. But for somebody like me who always shoots, uh, it's a bit too hot. But for an AI pilot who is not shooting like all the time, it's okay. It's gonna be really fine. Nine shots left. <laughs> Best shot ever. Take that landscape. All right, let's go in. Getting that. Getting that. Getting that. Even. Hell yeah. So, last base, basically down. Even shooting an cannon shell in there, because we don't need seven anymore. Here we go, we got it. Unless... There's another dropship coming down now. It doesn't seem like it, though. Let's just get out of here, guys. We run. Yeah, another job well done. I would say it was solid. Yes, we took a lot of damage here, but nothing got critical. Not a single component got critical on our team. Uh, what's that? Oh, okay. Right. Good. Down they go. Fire 
fiery explosions on the ground. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get when you don't pay attention. Oh, shut you out of the sky. Uh huh. Cool. Let's go. I actually do wonder what we get as a reward here. Because I didn't really follow, I didn't really keep track. Is that the pilot? Like there is a there's a mission where you could actually get a new pilot. And that's the thing that I'm really looking for. And I think it was kind of down in the Liao space, so I'm gonna check it out. I think what we're gonna do in order to get our lands <laughs> a little stronger is uh, we play those high reward quests. The Orion is actually on the table though. We have 14, it's 22. Crap. Taking some locusts for money, obviously. And an LRM 10, why not? Alright! Oh, we got a Vindicator! No, that's good! That, that, that's a Vindicator, it's, it's an okay mag. It's alright, not bad. It's just a Vindicator. Anyway, next! Uh, next is a big repair. It's definitely gonna be a big repair. And do we take the Vindicator for the Javelin? I would say, yeah. I would say, yeah. Let's go. So, this Vindicator is gonna take place here. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's a 40... 40 ton mech? 45 ton mech? That has no weapons equipped? I thought it came with, like, full loadout. Alright. Well then. Let's build something with it, but not here on this, um, in this, uh, not in the, in the conflict zone. Um, let's dive down. Let's dive deeper into it. There seem to be no priority missions down here, though. But we have a nice demolition as well as an assassination. Or a raid and a war zone. It's also interesting. I mean, there's a high reward quest. Yeah, we need to repair first. So... Let's take a look for where we can go. Let's go here to Lee, and then we go over to the west to see if we can finish the high reward mission that is offered there. Okay. For me, this is just gonna be a repair run here. I'm not gonna refit so much. I think it's it's fine. Our builds are working, and uh, we are in a good state here. I kind of also want to check out the Black Knight. It's an AMS for sale. Uh, Jenna's and the Zeus. Okay, I don't care. So what we're going to be doing is, we repair everything. And then we're going to dive directly into the next high reward mission. That's going to be it. Oh, Black Knight. You know what? You're missing a paint job, buddy. Repair mech. Anybody else? No? You're fine. You're also fine. This Wolverine is also fine and not even damaged. The Kintaro needs the paint job. Alright. Apply that and then repair. Oh, that thing needs a refit. Ooh, it's just a single heatsink. Alright, nothing happened at all. Oh god, I'm happy. I'm super happy about the outcome there. And then, yeah, we have the Vindicator that we could build. Um, do, 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 shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Having a Vindicator is not bad. Um, I think I want to make it a build that uh, uses... First of all, maximum armor. Let's go to 10 for a medium mech yet again. It's gonna be good. He's running 64 kph, which is not that fast. That's kind of like heavy max speed for me. But here's what we do. We put an LRM-10 in there as a like support weapon. Yeah, one and a half tons of ammo. One and a half. And the rest is gonna be two large lasers. And then heat sinks. Yeah. That's gonna be it. So, at just a nice, long range fire support that just does its job, you know? Um, do we put it on the head? The large laser that is. We can put him on the arm, but then we would risk of losing. We have the risk of losing it. At the same time, we have better arm mobility. We could also opt for three medium lasers and an SRM6. Oh, you know what? I like this here. Let's go. So, that's gonna be our support Vindicator. Everybody else is still in fine condition, so it seems. So yeah, we have a full complement of mechs in our storage now. Even some spare mechs to use. Anyway, let's go up here. There's a high reward quest. And I wanna keep playing those to increase our reputation. So that Rihanna is uh, happy again and we can continue playing it through the main storyline. 
All right. Looking forward to this. We also need better pilots. I mean, with the 26 or 29 tier pilot that we have as our maximum right now, next to Freeman and of course my main pilot, uh, it's it's kind of weird. This is real bad. <laughs> we accept it anyway. Let's go. Demolition contract. Hell yeah. Let's do it. With the 230 tonnage. Um. I think I just want to, for the sake of a, of a test, I'm going to use the Black Knight here. We have the tonnage, so might as well. And this Javelin absolutely performed well, so Captain Darden is going to stay there. However, I'm not too happy with the Wolvie here. Am I? Let's think about that. Let's see heat management, by the way. Can I see that? 2.4. I mean, it's technically the same thing that we do on the Warhammer. Having a big, like, projectile weapon, as well as a lot of medium lasers. But this thing has seven. Okay, it could be a bit difficult to manage this, but hey, let's see about that. I'll just check it out. Um, taking the Wolvie, yes or no? I think... Centurion might be better here. Um... Sure. I don't want to go for the Kintaro. Here, have a Centurion. I think it's actually better. Yep. So that's gonna be our lance. That's how we roll. Hoping that the Jagermeck is uh, holding. Oh, actually, I could have used the the Warhammer on on Captain Freeman, Lieutenant Freeman. Wow, that's just a lot of weapons. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of weapons. Okay. There's that. I want a chain fire group as well. Oh my god, this is just obscene. Uh huh. All right, I think I'm gonna do it like this. Hello, enemies. All right, that was a bit too high. This actually seems viable. can't see anything. Here we go. That's way better. This Manticore has to go quickly. Alright. So. Could also. We could also use this mag to actually put just a lot of large lasers on it. Cool. That works. And here's the thing. I can act as the tank for my team. Just absorbing the damage for them. What's that? It is hard to hit. That's what it is. That's kind of my target there. Oh, they bring in a lot, and I need to get this uh, this carrier down. Like, instantly. Oh, shit. They don't like me. Where is it? Alright, it's down. Ooh, that was a lot of fire that we took there. Alright. Guys, I hope you can defend yourselves where you are. I am um, trying to go for the tanks here on the sidelines. Still not dead. Wow. It's Jay Edgar's for you guys. Carrier. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Got him though. PPC is super handy. That's super good that we have this uh, long range projectile weapon. Yeah, and then the medium lasers for the close quarter combat. Okay. So far, so healthy. Seems good. Centurion didn't take damage. Yeah, I can make a little bit, but that's okay. Ooh. The javelin doesn't look great. Not at all. We can just shoot a bit while we are moving to the front line. I want to get high ground before we do anything else. I want to see what's there. Okay. Hello, enemies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They bring something like an Igor. It's not something like an Igor. It is an actual Igor. Mmm. Not happy with that shot. But this was good. And here's a javelin that instantly has to go. Those javelins have so much damage output. I missed it. I missed it! So I think at this point... Um, Cicada, okay, fine. At this point it's medium laser time. And... Medium... Oh my freaking god, I didn't realize. Um, medium laser time only. Never mind. If we can kill, then we kill. Yeah, I take that back. 
Wasted heat. Also, again, if we can kill quickly, then we gotta kill quickly. Good. No cicada. That's one. And we should be dead now. Cool. So far, so good. Yeah, we go in, guys. Start the demolition. And I should really not shoot my weapons here. You know what? I'm gonna just use my raw mech stomping power to run over the buildings and cool down for the next engagement, which is gonna come soon. I do believe that they will drop another lance of mechs behind us at some point. So I wanna be prepared for that. Only if I'm at like zero heat I can splash in a little bit more damage with my lasers. There they are. There they are. And I want them off the field instantly. It went straight through him? Or past him? Okay. Got it. Uh, no, 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 no. Not like this. Alright, let's get away the tanks and then... Okay. I wanted to go back to, like, this vision here. Those Edgars, they are really nasty. And we didn't really get the flyers yet. But I think it is super important here to, dis uh, to defend ourselves. Before we do anything else. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Hello, Davians. Again! Weapon convergence? What the hell is that? Uh, die, please. Thank you. Also, die, please. No, I'm overheating. Okay. Yeah, go for me. I'm the tank anyway. Uh, this AC2 turret also needs to go. Oh, come on. So, yeah. There's a lot of stuff to kill. And a lot of enemies running around. So, we're gonna go for the Locust now. Because if we are free... Uh, and we are not fighting the Locust anymore, my people will actually start using their weapons to destroy the base again. But that's also very helpful. Cool. Gonna keep smashing, we are at 23%. Another thing that I wanna quickly do is uh, going over to this... Um, ah, there's more. Uh, to this turret. Destroy it. Because it's super nasty. Uh, and now we are just con continuing smashing the base because there's another lands of mechs and slowly but surely they are winning the war of attrition. And um, we are not caring about our objective here. Then um, we will never get the job done and they will just send in more and more support units and they will destroy us. So let's just get the hell out of here. 5%. Five percent, four percent, three, and we are done. Okay, let's get out of here. This should be a definitive blow to the will of the rebel citizens. Hopefully, um, however, I think I want to stay in this fight to possibly get some more salvage. Can I do that? Yeah, ninety-five percent heat. Where's the evac? Oh, right. A thousand meters away. Okay, got that. And then the Firestarter is the last enemy on the board. And again, I don't care about taking damage. I want to keep it away from my friends. Go for it. That's a deliberate overheat to just kill this guy now. Okay. You lost an SRM. You did not lose anything. You did also not lose anything. Yeah, the Javelin Darden is kind of almost destroyed. Look at that. But Darden is holding up, and so does our Black Knight. Again, this 75-ton mech early on in the Lance is just a very good asset. Imagine this mech with double heat sinks, being able to shoot like all the time. That would be cool. That would be really cool. But we are still missing the good equipment. So let's take a look around. Maybe we can find something. I mean, at the moment we have this this Wolverine, the Quarantine, that has like four double heat sinks built in. Maybe that's a way to build it. Just take it out of the Wolvie, just make the Wolverine like another spare mech for our Lance mates. Not caring about the maximum heat management so much. 
Okie dokie. Get out of here. But in general, I like this mech. Target destroyed. And we go home. <laughs> Let's see what we get out of this here. I would say the uh, payout in the end is not that great. We will only get like an or like two LRM 15, tier 3, and a bunch of heat sinks. But that's good. That's a fire starter. And some LRMs, sure. It's just LRMs to sell them. Nothing else. Cool. Second part is gonna be. Is gonna be an assassination contract. Ooh, interesting. There is a hero mech though. I'll check it out. We repair there. Then we go over to the assassination contract. That's gonna be how we roll. Just lots of medium lasers, guys. That's a very efficient weapon system. Only costs one ton, has a decent damage output. Of course, it makes your mech hot. Oh my god. Oh. My. God. That is a Kintaro Golden Boy. And that is also a Thunderbolt that I would really like to pick up. Uh-huh. Sure. So what's it gonna be that we are taking here? It has to be the Golden Boy. That, that, look. I mean, look. What this thing brings to the table. Uh, we need 9 million sea balls, whatever it costs. Whatever the cost, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and, and sell something. Um, fire starter, maybe? Uh, how do we start this? It's gonna be the Vindicator, right? So, we're gonna strip this guy. We're selling the Vindicator. And also the fire starter. We don't need this thing anymore. Oh my god, that's a Kintaro Gold Boy! <laughs> so, fire starter, be gone. Thanks for all the duty that you did. And then the Vindicator as well. Holy crap. It's gonna be so good. Uh, let's go to the market. Sell. Sell, sell, sell. Uh, the Locusts, both of them. Let's go. What else do we have? We have another Javelin and another Fire Starter. I have the feeling that we're not really able to pick this thing up, do we? Uh, okay, this one is the one that is destroyed. What does it cost again? 9 million Seabells? It's almost 10. It's gonna be a, an absolutely valuable pickup for us. Let's go to the inventory. I'm gonna sell all of the stuff that I don't intend to, uh, to, to run anymore. For example, Flamers. Goodbye, Flamers. Goodbye, Auto Cannon 2 Burst Fire Tier 1. Goodbye, Auto Cannon 4. Five burst fire. We have a crazy amount of LRM tens, right? Let's see. Not a crazy amount, but an amount. Yeah, we'll sell the long range missiles. We have a bunch of pulse lasers as well, as well as some PPCs that we are not really utilizing. I'll keep one around so that the Black Knight has some spear, uh, spear equipment. Okay. Okay. We are getting close, but close enough though. Machine guns? Yeah, let's go. It's not much, though, that we're getting out of them. What about jump jets? Yeah, we are never using jump jets, ever. Almost there. Almost there. Machine gun ammo. It doesn't give us so much money, though. We have to sell another mech. Any mini mini moo? Uh, Blackjack, it is you. Is it? No, it's this Wolverine. I have the feeling it's not good. I have the feeling it's not good, yeah. Um, and I can probably sell it with uh, all the stuff that it's running with. Yeah, let's go. So, inventory. Let's not sell the quarantine, but instead the Wolverine 6R. And now we're gonna be picking up a Kintaro Golden Boy. It's a shame that there's also a Thunderbolt. I'm a fan of Thunderbolts, I gotta say. I'm, I really like Thunderbolts. The Catapult A1 is not good. It only has two big missile hard points. But Thunderbolts are great. <laughs> anyway, you know what's also great? A Kintaro Golden Boy. Holy shit. Yeah, it is. Where is it? Where? There it is. Alright. We have a Golden Boy. There it is. <laughs> Holy crap. So, we need to do something. That's gonna be our throwaway mech. We'll take out the doubles. Like, throwaway as in 
We can uh, trust it to the hands of an AI pilot, which also means we don't need that many ammunitions. That's okay. Alright, we'll go with that. So it's basically a beefed up javelin that we have there now, with four SRM4s instead of two SRM6s. It's, it's just good. Uh, then there's the quarantine that I also need. This is gonna be so ridiculous, guys. Absolutely. Take out the doubles, adding some singles. That's it. So this Wolvie is also gonna be trusted into the hands of my friends. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm really happy. Now with the doubles that we're gonna get out of this. Mm, the Warhammer is, I think, fine as it is. It's also a mech that we can put into the hands of our skilled mech warriors. Uh, speaking of, let me quickly check if there's anybody that we want to pick up. No. Okay. So, Jäger mech. It's fine, we repair that. Javelin is not fine, but we just also just repair that. And then we're gonna have some fun building. SRM6 here. Uh, was a ton of ammo, right? Yeah, okay, that's gonna be the jab. Centurion, just repairs, good. And now we have to wait a little until all of those double heat sinks are out of the, uh, of the other mechs. And then we need to put them into the Kentaro. Yeah, let's go. Let's wait. Jip, jip, uh, jip. And one more jip. Okay, Darden got injured, by the way. That's not great. So, Golden Boy. I'm so happy. We dropped the pulses. Oh, it also comes with all of the doubles already. I wasn't aware. What? I thought it came with singles. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, we need to put more ammo in this mech, though. Is this gonna be it? Five tons of ammo? <laughs> this is gonna shred. Let's go back to 12 on the back. No, actually to 10. Oh my god. Oh my god, this golden boy is actually stronger than I expected. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, I need to max the armor. The head armor is not in a good state, I gotta say. Ah, it's fine. 18 should be good enough. And we're gonna put SRM6s on this. Wow, let's go to the market and buy another 6. Alright. It's 5 SRM6s, guys. 5 of them. And like all the double heat sinks in the world, I have the feeling that we have not enough ammo for this kind of build. That's insane. That's so freaking insane. We need more uh, sustain. So... Is it, is it wise to put all the ammo on the same side there? We put it... Wait a sec. We put it over here. So the right side is the shield side. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be our build. Holy crap! I cannot wait to build and play this. Um, wait, do we have some doubles left over now? I think the Black Knight could need one. Uh, we have one double heat sink, so we're gonna put that in the engine here. Alright, guys. We have some fun. We're gonna have some fun on the battlefield with this Kintaro. Abso-freaking-lutely. Where's the next mission? It's down here. Let's go. Set course. And we're definitely gonna be playing this Kintaro. We are playing a raid here, right? Which means uh, lots of enemies on open terrain, probably. And we have to go and kill fast. So it's gonna be a complement of heavy mechs, as well as two mediums, I believe. Okay. Oh, it's assassination. Assassination. Alright, alright, alright. That's 230 tons. I'll take the golden boy. Where is it? So, if this thing is gonna get destroyed, uh, it's gonna be my fault. You're gonna play the Black Knight. Seven energies, really good. You're gonna be playing the other Kentaro. You're pretty good with missiles. Oh, the problem is that we have five tons over. Alright, it's gonna be Centurion then. So, double Centurion. Um, oh, Darden is injured for 22 days. But I want Darden, because Darden is a 22 pilot. 
it, it has to be Darden, so we're gonna wait for that. And I think we are sh switching the Centurions there. Yeah, the Ballistic 4 pilot with the AC-10 and um, the, the missile guy on the SRM-6 with the energy weapons. So that makes more sense. Cool, we wait 24 days, uh, 22 days for Darden to get back online. And then we're gonna play this monstrosity of a golden boy. I wonder if that's viable. We put, like, all the heat management, all the ammo, and the biggest weapons, the biggest short range weapons we could muster into this mech. Let's see how this rolls. I'm, I'm super hyped. Super hyped. Ah, we could have also opted for uh, a ton less ammo and another single heat sink. All systems nominal. Cool. Let's go. Oh, what? It's one position? It's gonna be interesting. Oh, please don't overheat, little Kintaro. You know what? I'm gonna override here. I'm just gonna override. Hello? Are there any enemies? Is it smart to go to the low ground? kind of is because dropping down on top of them is, is probably not viable because my teammates got stuck on the high ground and then it's gonna be me alone down there. No, we'll just move the regular way. Okay, I cannot, I cannot wait to press this fire button. That's so viable. That is so viable, guys. Oh my god. That's a crazy build. Yeah, yeah, I know, the heat is critical, but we are also cooling quite fast again. And look at the amount of missiles that we shoot here. That's insane! Um, it's a lot of enemies though, which is also quite insane. Oopsie, sorry! Uh-huh. Lots of LRMs there. We are destroying quite fast. Okay. Can we not kill this? Ah, we could. So far, so good. Yes, no. We need to cool. We also need to kill. Cool and kill. That's insane! Holy crap! Yeah, I mean, I mean, we could need a little bit more cooling. Also, the enemies in our backs there. Nice backstabbing, I gotta say. Uh, no, thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, there's also one thing, I'm getting confused with my weapon groups, I need to change them a little bit. So, yeah, I took a bit of overheat damage, but it, it was it was needed. It was definitely needed. It's time to push in now. This is a crazy brawl and I also need to get a feel for it. Let's uh, disable override again. I don't want to accidentally blow this thing up. So where's our main tie? It's an archer! I think it has been an archer for the longest time, though. Yeah. I mean, look at that. He's down. He's just down. Just like that. But that's an enemy dropship coming down. Alright. I wanna check out what we can do still. Let's go for it. I know we fulfilled our contract, but there is more to kill. Oh, there he is. There he was. That's a double tap and a dead panther. <laughs> Is there more? Hello? I got it. Hello? Acquired. Was it only the panther? Oh, they bring partisans and carriers, but I think our black knight is actually holding up quite nicely. Yeah, it seemed that it was only the panther that they brought down here. Little sneaky panther and wanted to go in our backs. But we didn't let him. This here is great. That's a Kintaro Golden Boy with six, no, five SRM6s. Uh, by the way, um, I have modded the game and you might not be able to put five SRM6s on the Mac because there's a hard point size limitation. I got a mod in there which completely got rid of everything. So I can put uh, any size of um, the appropriate weapon type into um, the, the hard point. Oh, we didn't get any max salvage. 
Or well, salvage was quite low anyway, so it's fine. It's okay. And we level up. Yeah, more evasion on our main pilot. Like to see that. And I would say we're gonna claim some LRM 15 tier 3, as well as a good chunk of single heat sinks and some additional sea bills. And we now are professional. Which means we can talk to Rihanna? Can we? No, we should still take contracts. Okay, guys, that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. I hope uh, yeah, you enjoyed it. I said that already. What was else? Leave a rating, um, comment, um, subscribe, hit the bell, support me on Patreon. Link is down below in the description. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.